we're pro racers, we're doing like a serious job, we're racing, we're risking our lives, but it's still, when it comes to riding, we still do it because we love the sport. That's why we started doing it, because we were loving riding our bike. It's, it's our biggest passion and it still is, you know, we were like little kids on a big bikes with big dreams and that's, that's what we do when it comes to riding. Whenever I go to the start, I'm always asking myself, why am I doing this? But whenever I cross the finish line, That's the place where is the answer. For me, mountain biking was always about exploring. I've been racing in Mexico, Chile, all South America, all Europe. And look where we are now, exploring the new trails in India with Hyundai. This is gonna be insane. And I honestly can't wait to find the best line here in Aizol. It's almost one of a kind because I've never seen something like this before. Man, but this is so steep. This is like crazy steep. Like almost too steep. I never met a downhill rider from India in my life, but what my social media say is that I'm having a lot of fans out of India. That means that there must be some mountain bike community. So I'm really stoked and really happy to see uh, some of the guys showing up here and riding the trails with them and uh, share the trail with them. for coming. No worries, always yeah. welcome. For us it's definitely a dream come true. Yeah, for me it's really a pleasure, pleasure to, to be here with you guys. As you can see, the back and that's that a, is our city. So that's a big mountain. I've heard some guys saying like it's not a big mountain, but it's a big it's mountain. It's a big mountain, yeah. Honestly, when we were going in the car here, yes. I was just saying to the guys, like, I've never seen such a steep stairs. Is it even rideable? Like, some of the stairs are just, like, too steep almost. Yes. We're all just so eager to see you shred the stairs. <laughs> when we ride the stairs, it's like, pop, 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 and yours is like, All <laughs> 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 right. Looking forward. Yeah. It's gonna be my first trails in India. Before we ride, you need to show me the places that we can prepare for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is one trail which I'm very excited uh -huh. to show you. It's on that side. And we have another trail on this side. You can for do sure. some lines in the city and of yeah, course sure. we'll also hit the trails. It will be amazing, yeah. yes. Yeah. I can't wait. Meeting Thomas for the first time is like, you know, it's a little hard to process. Like he's here in our city. He's here to ride our trails. Okay, it's time to play now. Yeah, I'm very pumped to show him around. Take him to jumps, which I've jumped. I want to see how he jumps, which turn he takes. So I would love to see his style on the trail.
You can be the best writer in the world, but if you don't have the personality of being kind of a legend, you will never become legend. So I know what it meant to me if someone came to me and gave me the advices. I know what it means for him. Yeah, so this is where it's gonna start. Big stairs, big problem. Yes. Going from there and pop, landing. This is steep, man. Yeah, this is steep and it's a right turn. We call this MotoGP section. Yes, yes. MotoGP. MotoGP and it's cool like how the street is banked, you mm -hmm, see? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's, that's good. That's and the, the grip on this will be pretty awesome, I would yes. say. This is nice section. So this, this trail is basically just speed, 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 speed and technical words. Watch them go, watch them go. Uh -huh. It feels uh -huh. like they're already doing a wheelie. Uh, hard to get to the top. <laughs> yeah. I mean like, I can't like, the other thing is like, I cannot imagine how you're gonna stop your bike here. <laughs> and here we go left. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit, then I don't know how you stop your bike here. We <laughs> Are you are you loving it or you're being good. skeptical about it? No, it's it's fine. It's just like it reminds me really uh, some tracks in Mexico uh -huh. that they're having like these kind of like really long stairs which are just the same. Yes. And then in the middle there is three or four steps which are completely different size. Uh -huh. And then it comes the same and then again different sizes. And that's the thing which can kill you in that speed. It's like, like there is no trick for it. You just need to hang on and somehow just yes. send it over it and survive it, but it's technical. This is Man, nice. this is, but this is, this is dangerous. You, you don't want to, don't record this, but this is dangerous. Out of record, this is fucking dangerous. <laughs> like awesome. you don't adjust your speed and you die down there. Really difficult one. Man, this is making me nervous already now. You're gonna be like, pop, 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 pop. pop. And, uh, oh no, you cannot get it. You can't. No, the, the compression there is gonna, it's, it's gonna eat oh, your bike. Oh man. But That's if, a shame. Like I thought it's just the straight stairs down. So you'd no. be like going from here. But if you would do this, you wouldn't survive. What's behind it? It's again, still stairs. So this is the last set of stairs. So this would be the breaking point. Finally. <laughs> Finally, off the stairs, man. I'm like, difficulty? It will be 10. 10? Like, really, it's. Uh, we That's, have something special yeah. here, I guess. Like, as I said, it really reminds me Taxco, and we're always like in between. Uh, yes. In between Urban DH riders, we're always like saying like the Taxco is the hardest one. Yes. Because technically, physically, and uh, you got such a long track with. So big elevation, like the, the vertical drop is just big, with so many stair sets, with so many high speed sections. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited, like, <laughs> like, I know it's gonna be wild. Like, on those stairs, if you just let it go and you miss the breaking point, you are in the trouble. <laughs> really stop to do some laps and see how it really feels. It feels more like one and a half kilometer, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It feels like two and a half kilometers. So, uh... Yeah. Let's try to get some sleep. Yeah, and, and tomorrow uh, is a big day. Tomorrow. Oh man, I'm tired now. I'm just tired from walking it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tomas Slavik. Right now we're Aizol, India, and this is possibly first ever trek preview of a first possibly urban DH trek in India. Let's do this. Whenever you race, you're kind of in your own world. You're just playing your own video game. It's just me, my bike, 
and a track. The rush of adrenaline in my veins is just insane. I'm forgetting all the risks, forgetting all the stress and focusing on having the best possible run. And the answer is always in the finish line, when you kind of like, you know, wake up from a dream. For the final one, let's go! Finding the track and the best line in the structure of a city like this is always like dream come true. We came here and honestly we took a little step into the unknown, but I think we found everything what we were searching for. And we found it here, in India, in Aizol. It has everything it takes to build up a world-class urban DH race. Thanks Hyundai for coming along for a ride.